Hello on a fantastic and beautiful spring evening. The sun was so generous with perfect lighting uh, that I just decided to take advantage of it and record something horrible for you. Uh, horrible because, well, it's my video and it's my review, uh, but also because of the figure that we will be looking at. Um, and for all of you who haven't seen this variant of Rhinox, the Fox Kids repaint, please brace yourself and, yourselves and be prepared for something not very pretty. Here he is. Yep, that's him. When repainting a half organic, half metal, half uh, I don't know what, cybernetic uh, rhinoceros, yeah, you're bound to end up with blue and gold, right? Yeah, it's fucking obvious. Oh. But wait, the fun starts uh, with his robot mode. That's where things get very hairy. Anyway, let's have a look at this rhinoceros mode, we'll call it. Yeah, I guess we'll call it that. Uh, the blue is actually quite uh, is much deeper than it's shown on this camera, but what can you do? Mm, uh, as you can see, the detailing is simply superb. Multitude of tiny little details. Sadly, they aren't painted, at least most of them. Uh, I think we're lucky this gold chrome is here. Mm, his terrible legs. His tiny little tail. Oh, it's so cute. And the head. Actually, I've seen a lot of auctions of him uh, with his horn lost. And uh, he was either called uh, a wolf or a rat or a raccoon even, I believe. Oh well, at least the red eyes are a nice touch. Very fierce looking face. I think too fierce for a rhino. And the horn is rather like a serrated blade already, so we know what it will end up as. Uh, the back of the rhino again has magnificent detailing and some paint ups to break up the only gold only uh, scheme. So let's get on to the transformation and if you're injury prone you do not want to get this toy because the transformation uh, requires force, requires precision and god knows what. First we'll raise the wings. Oh, oh, oh wait! No, there's a travel mode! Yes, it's a transmetal and he's got a travel mode. As silly as they come, really. Uh, first of all, we'll give him <laughs> skis. Yeah, why not? I, I think skates would work better on, on a rhino, but uh, whatever. Then we will hide the hind legs inside uh, totally invisible threads. Yeah, you couldn't notice them before. And we'll lower this part and actually adjust it the way uh, the way we want, the way we feel like. Then we can lower the four legs and <laughs> hilarious, isn't it? But actually a lot of other figures can ride him for better and worse. Uh, the good thing here is that additional details are revealed. So, good job, good job. On to the transformation. Uh, we are in the middle of it at the moment. We'll take the wings, the flaps up, then we'll uh, pull his legs out brutally, then we'll open his boobs, take out his robot arms from his boobs, relieve him of the horn. <laughs> okay, never mind. I hope not too many kids are watching. Um, and then we'll release this part, swivel it around, form his abdomen, close the chest, maximum rub sign. Will it work? Is it a rub sign? Well, 
I think it was supposed to so show something out. Never mind. Then we'll remove half of the rhino, which will form a horrible backpack, but at least it's all in one place. Swivel these parts, push them in again. Same here. And connect the crotch area. The mighty hairy crotch area. Straighten the legs. As you can see, it really is hairy. Mm -hmm. The wings uh, will be left alone for this moment and actually forever. Uh, anyway, the arms, yeah, and here he is. He will not straight to this is stand straight too well with his skis, but without them he stands perfectly. Mm -hmm. Very nice, actually very well balanced figure. I uh, I really didn't expect him to be this balanced. Then his weapon, the serrated blade of rhinocerosi goodness. He can hold this weapon like this kind of a sight weapon and you can pose him in a lot of badass poses or you can give him a more of a sword really hmm. does that look good? not really but oh well doesn't look bad so as you can see uh, the color scheme flourishes here and absolutely changes the the whole perspective you may have on the figure after just seeing the old mode, the red comes to play. Oh my god, it looks as if he was horny, very horny, and very muscular, and very fierce. I believe the internets call this kind of expression the rape face nowadays. But the head is so much different than the docile, peaceful face of Rhinox from the cartoon or even from the first toe. Well, the first toe was a bit evil looking, but this face, he isn't fucking around. You know, he survived the surge, but he didn't get a transmetal body in the show, so you just don't do that to Rhinox. Actually, he was so sad he didn't that he became tanker later on, but I guess we all know that. The detailing of the chest. It's, it's actually hard to talk about the detailing, hard to say anything more than what you see already. No words needed. Fucking awesome. So, well, yeah, two words. Huh? Okay. Didn't hurt. <coughs> so, please tell me what do you think about him. Uh, what do you think about the mold? What do you think about this variant? Uh, and maybe even about other Fox Kids repaints because they are pretty, pretty notorious. Um, and yeah, this is Rhinox. Yes, yes, this is Rhinox. This is Rhinox, well, very much. Hmm. Bye!